Welcome everybody to the channel. My name is Brandon. The channel is 540 Flips. Hope you all are doing well out there. This will be the first ever episode uh, recorded on this YouTube channel. Um, I wanted to do a little bit about myself and uh, kind of touch on how I got into reselling just for a bit. Uh, I've been doing this for almost two months now. Uh, I will share. I have my first three purchased items, uh, also sold items that I'll share with everybody. And um, yeah, a little bit about myself first off. Um, I The 540 is a play off of my area code. Um, I do live in central, northern, whichever way you look at it, uh, Virginia. Um, I have been guess you would say self-employed if that's how you want to look at it but self-sustained <laughs> um since december of 2020 2021 uh folks are, i see this question a lot um in like videos or uh facebook groups that me and my wife have joined recently uh, looking into all of this a lot of people want to know how many folks are reselling full-time as like their full-time job i wouldn't say that we are like that I personally am at a full-time level because um, I do mix it in with other things. I do also have another YouTube channel uh, that is specifically for sports cards, which is where, like, what I got into when I started, uh, you know, doing, doing my own thing. Um, I was trying to work a nine-to-five as, as well as do the stuff in sports cards, and it just got to where I was being worn down and um, the benefits of me doing something I enjoyed plus the income that could be made from that you know versus my nine to five um, it kind of just made sense to to do my own thing so um, beginning of this year I actually it was January 3rd um, I have to go to the post office every day anyway and there is a goodwill on my trip to the post office and for some reason i was like you know what it's the first of the year um we enjoy watching a lot of youtube channels that do thrifting reselling that sort of thing we watch commonwealth picker we watch lonnie and candace on shed flips we've watched franchise kicks we've watched grimes finds we've watched you know nc flipper you know, all these channels right that that do this stuff and um you know I was just something hit me that day and I was like, I'm going to stop and just look, you know, it's on my way anyway. Just look and see what's in there. You know, new year, let, let's try it out. And so um, I went in, I didn't have a clue what I was doing. <laughs> I would, you know, I'm still to the point where I have to look 99% of stuff up. Um, and I went in and I just picked up a couple items. I will share those with you in a minute. And uh, in less than two weeks, the three items I bought sold. And not only did they sell, um, they sold where I made $53.67 profit off of spending $8. Um, I thought, you know, that's not life changing money, but to do this brand new out the box and, uh, you know, just trying it out i thought that was pretty awesome um you know about a month ago i think it was like four maybe going on five weeks now i went to my first ever estate sale that was insane i'll share some of those uh finds with you in a later episode um i'm obviously behind like two months sharing you guys stuff that i've bought sold etc uh but that sale um that was like really eye-opening to to sit here and, and you know as a channel i don't want to come into this as uh being a know-it-all a professional anything like that in fact i want to use this more to anyone else that's maybe interested and um you know help show that even being new um if you jump into it and you learn and uh you know just go about it in, in you know a pattern that you feel comfortable with uh you could do this too and you know whether add extra income or even maybe scale to where it becomes more than that um 
but overall it, it's been an exciting you know almost two months now and uh I, I hope you guys enjoy the content i do have a gopro i'm going to try to get over the the uh, awkwardness of going out with the gopro i see people doing it all the time i just have to tell myself hey look this is normal other people are doing it all the time um, my goodwill is very small though so the content on that side of me thrifting is probably going to be very, very, very hit or miss. There is many days I go in there and there is just nothing. They've also been increasing the prices a lot on stuff. And so it just doesn't make it worth buying. Um, but, you know, I'll do what I can, hopefully share it with you guys. Um, so anyway, let's talk about my first day thrifting. I went and picked up three items. Um, and I will pop those up to share with you guys, you know, as we go through them. But the first item, I'll go in order of the items that sold. The first item was a Winchester um, empty little wooden ammo crate that held 22 ammo. Um, it caught my eye, you know, obviously living where I do, I'm familiar with, you know, hunting and that kind of stuff. Winchester is a brand that's very popular. Um, I thought it was a cool little wooden, it looked like a little wooden crate, had a little sliding top to it, um, and it was $1.99. I was like, even if this doesn't sell, it's a cool piece, um, and that's kind of how I approach this. Like, it, it, if it caught my eye, then obviously it would likely catch someone else's eye, um, and if it was priced where it seemed, you know, reasonable, even if it didn't sell, let's go for it. So that item I bought for $1.99. I sold it for $29.99 plus $10 shipping. Uh, that sold on January 5th. Uh, I listed it on January 4th. So really quick, like I listed it and it sold the next day. Incredible, um, especially being new to this. Um, and that netted me $24.65 or a profit of $22.66. Uh, next item that I have to share Let's see, it is going to be, I, I have it on here as a vintage style mini keg. It's it's just a little wooden, a miniature wooden mini keg, but it was empty. It did have whiskey in it at some point. Um, I believe they're given out a lot at uh, weddings as uh, gifts or whatever, or parties maybe. But anyway, it, another piece that just caught my eye, it looked cool. Um, I spent $2.99 on it. It sold for $19.99 plus $10 shipping. I netted $17.52 and a profit of $14.53. The other item, this is one thanks to my wife because she loves this show. I, I recognize this, um, but it was a Downton Abbey tea set ornament, um, little Christmas ornament, had a plate. You know, it was in the box. That was also nice, but it was $2.99. I picked that up. Um, a lady that actually runs, I, I went and checked out her eBay store. She actually deals a lot with tea sets and stuff. Uh, she purchased it off of me, asked if I would take $20. Um, so I sold it for $20 plus $9 shipping. That gave me a net of $19.47 and a profit of $16.48. So those were my three first pickups ever at Goodwill. They all sold, um, they were listed January 3rd and 4th, and they sold January 5th, January 12th, January 14th. So three items, three quick sales. They were all cheap. Again, I spent $8, um, you know, figured for under 10 bucks. Let's try it out. Let's see how it goes. I have since scaled. Uh, there's a lot of stuff listed now, a lot more stuff that needs to be listed. I'm learning as I go. I will share more of that later. But this is kind of what got me hooked on it. And I'm going to tell you, if you do it and have fun, it is an amazing thing. And I've talked to folks that I've made very good friends with that also have dabbled in it some um, in their lifetime, but over in the sports card side. And all of us agree, like one of the most exciting things is sports cards is when we go to shows and stuff like that, or even searching eBay is the hunt, the finding something that you want in your collection or finding a great deal on something that you know you can, you know, flip or whatever. This is no different. It's just uh, amazing because I'm learning so many other things that people collect and also just 
the hunt is so much bigger now because it's not just saturated into or condensed into cardboard. It's now many, many, many different things. So anyway, that's enough for episode one. I do appreciate you all. If you would not mind, please hit the like, subscribe, turn the bell on, but comment down below. Um, I'm going to try to uh, to get, you know, stay consistent on uploading and everything. Again, I'm already behind uh, with getting videos out because I've been doing this for two months. But as always, guys, thank you. I do appreciate it. Um, stay safe out there. And until the next one, I'm out.